From News 19, I'm meteorologist Daniel Bonds. We'll start off in the tropics where we've had three named storms so far this season. Bonnie, Alex and Colin. Colin kind of skirted up the South Carolina, North Carolina coast, but it's been pretty quiet in the tropics ever since Colin. And it looks like it's going to remain quiet over the next five days. No tropical activity is expected in the Atlantic. So obviously that's good news there. We've gotten some great pictures from our WLTX weather watchers over the past several days. Here are just a few of them. I'll kind of step out of the picture here and show you what we've gotten. These are from our WLTX weather watchers and then some from our WLTX Gandy's Gardeners Facebook page as well. Certainly the fruits and vegetables and the flowers have enjoyed the rain that we've gotten over the past several days and probably enjoyed this slightly cooler air. 93 degrees was seasonable on Saturday, but you notice last week temperatures were in the mid to even lower 80s on Wednesday. Yesterday we were a degree below normal at 92 degrees and July has been pretty wet so far. We've had showers and thunderstorms almost every day so far this month. We do expect more showers and thunderstorms to develop later today. It will be hot and humid otherwise with Heat index values right around 99, maybe even the triple digits. Triple digits probably for Tuesday and Wednesday, but as we mentioned, there will be that possibility for some showers and storms to develop during the heat of the day. Not expecting any severe weather, but any of these thunderstorms that do develop could produce some heavy downpours and maybe even some gusty winds. Looking ahead towards Tuesday, more of the same. Those showers and thunderstorms kind of developing during the hot part of the day, and then they'll kind of decrease as we lose the daytime heating. Even though we've got chances to rain, over the next seven days, the amounts don't look that impressive. You're talking maybe a quarter to maybe a half an inch. Some isolated areas probably picking up a little bit more. But here's our seven day forecast. Low 90s for highs, low to mid 90s Tuesday, Wednesday. Looking ahead towards Thursday and a Friday, low 90s for highs. And as you can tell, there'll be at least a chance for some rain each and every day. And it looks like this wetter than normal pattern will continue through the end of the month. This is our eight to 14 day temperature outlook and it will remain warmer than normal as well July 25th through July 31st.